Welcome to The Shed. I'm the voice inside your head. And we are going to do a walkthrough of Unit 1, Project 1. In this project, you are going to create a four-measure drum beat. And you're going to do it track by track or instrument by instrument. So first thing is we need to change the project tempo from 120 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute. So type 100 in there, press Enter. Now we need to create three tracks, three drum tracks. So add a new track, click on drum and beats. Add a new track, click on drum and beats. Now we need to label these. Track one is going to be hi-hat, track two is going to be snare, and track three is going to be kick. So highlight the hi-hat track and click on instrument right here. That allows us to record more than one measure. Now let's see what the hi-hat does in a simple drum beat. The hi-hat plays on all of these notes. It plays on one and two and three and four and. So now either using your typing keyboard, your piano keyboard, or pads, we're going to play in the hi-hat live into Soundtrap. So you get two measures of counting, and here we go. Three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we're out. Good. Now it might not have been perfect, so click Edit, Quantize, and click Eighth, and it's time to move on to the snare. So the snare drum plays on beats two and beats four. We call this the back beat. It's the most important beats in a drum groove. Two, three, four. This could rely on itself to create a groove. But we're going to put it with that hi-hat. The hi-hat is the connective tissue that's going to hold it all together. So let's put this on two and four for four measures. One, two, three, four. Try to get it perfectly in time. There you go. The less editing you could do after means that you're going to be more productive and efficient with your time. All right, now we're going to do the kick drum. Kick drum is going to play just on beats one and three. So find your note for the kick or your letter for the kick or your pad for the kick, and let's record the kick drum. One, two, three, four. 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 Three, four, and we're done. Let's quantize that. And now let's listen to our whole beat. This is a very simple beat, but this process is not going to change when you go to program in drum beats. You're going to have to have a hi-hat, snare, and a kick, and then be able to play with the metronome. All right, practice up. Good luck, and we'll see you in the shed.